Welcome to my channel, everyone. This is my first sit down video, face to face video. I was not English. This is my first camera appearance on YouTube. Um, obviously, I've been uploading my radio shows, so make sure you go watch those. I currently have, I don't know how many out. I've been uploading four times a week, so make sure you go watch those. And by the time this video comes out, there'll be way more and more to come after. But today we have an interview with Derek Abu. We spoke about his football career, his music career, some advice, anyone that wants to become a footballer or rapper, musician, singer. So make sure you stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe, press the notification bell. And that's about it from me, but I hope everyone enjoys. I hope you enjoyed the interview. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Shayna, 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 Okay, guys, so today I have Chelsea player, right back, England player, and a musician. I have Derek. Uh, hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. So today I just wanted to have like a conversation because obviously you do football and you do music, which I find very yeah. interesting. But you're the first guy I know that does football and music, so I thought it'd be... Yeah, exactly. I'm trying to be different. I'm trying to be myself, bro. Just being That's true to myself. Okay. First question is, what was your first passion, music or football? Uh, football. Football, yeah. What age did you get into that? How did you get scouted? Because obviously you're playing for one of the biggest clubs in London. Yeah, um, it started when I was like, well, my passion, I say football because it was something that, you know what I mean, I took in because obviously everyone played, everyone played football and um, it was like something I really enjoyed. And then um as I got older, joined like local clubs. Yeah. And then um I got um I got picked to go to Spain with oh. um like a local like technical like technical like um club and then I went to Spain and then went for a tournament representing England and played against like different type of countries, coaches of football. And I got scouted by Chelsea when I was out in Spain and then um came out to England and then yeah, joined Chelsea and the rest is history. How old were you when you got scouted for Chelsea? Um, I was nine, wow. ten. So you were in it. Yeah. So when did you start music? Um, I was in the choir in church. So I was always been a music guy, but like mm. I never really like thought I would like do anything with it because obviously I was just like copy yeah. of football. Like, I was just, obviously I was in the choir in church, made songs. Um, I loved it, but it was kind of like. Yeah, like I didn't think anything about it. Yeah, yeah. So obviously you've been at Chelsea since you were nine. How's your experience been there? Because that's the only club you've been at. Yeah, that's like, the first like professional club I, I've been yeah. at. So I can't I, like I got scouted when I was nine. I joined when I was ten, mm -hmm. and then um, yeah, like all I've basically kind of known is like it's Chelsea. Like I'm at the best facilities, best training ground, best coaches. Um. Everyone around me is, is like it's to a high standard. So I basically been brought up in that culture and I've been privileged to um yeah, to to work my way up to where I am now. So of course it's different now, but obviously like yeah, growing up, um yeah, like I was a popular figure, but um yeah, growing up seeing all types of faces, like players from from the youth team making up to the first team as well, like seeing the come up to it's it's, it's been sick. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. So obviously, I met you last year, summer, I believe it was. Yeah. You were injured. Yeah. How is that like being injured? Like, how's that for like mental health of players and importance of having a support system? Like, what's that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's something people will never really like. If you do a sport, you probably understand. But being injured is one of like the most common things and one of the hardest things is being is being an athlete or a footballer. In my case, because um, yeah, like. You feel like you can be growing momentum. You feel like um, 
you're about to start something good and the next thing you know an injury comes and then mm. you have to like kind of start all over again and then you're on the sidelines you're watching all your teammates train like you're watching big games and you're just in pain or trying to get like trying to get strong again trying to trust your body again mm -hmm. and it's just like a whole mental battle that um you're trying to that you need to go through so it's it's, it's difficult for footballers so yeah having a support network is is massive like I had my mom my sister and my boys but um yeah, like having a support system is 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 massive because they're they're the ones that are gonna keep you going. And obviously, because you're always around footballers, I'm sure it's um nice to have them around as well because they know what you're going through if they've been injured before and stuff like that. No, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, if you have like close friends in in and around the building as well, they've obviously had the same situations. We all go through it. So um yeah, like the boys support each other, man, because we're all in the same boat at the end of the day. Love that. You play for Chelsea. I assume you support Chelsea as well. Yeah, fortunately yeah. I do, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so, obviously, back in the day, they had, like, amazing players and stuff. But if you could pick any team to be in, like, mm -hmm. any season, what team would you have loved to play alongside? Any, what, any team? Mm, it doesn't have to be Chelsea. I don't want to get you in trouble. <laughs> so... nah, it's cool, it's cool. Any team, damn. Um... Probably um, that Real Madrid team under Zidane, like when they won like the Champions League. Um, who was it against? Against Atletico Madrid. Like they just had some crazy team. Mm. Um, yeah, so I can't remember what year it was. It might be 2016, 2015. But yeah, them. they were like, yeah, but they they had like, a crazy run where they, they were just like unstoppable. So probably like that, probably that team. Okay. And then lastly, obviously, they must have achieved a lot if you want to play for their team. So what achievements would you love to make in your football career by the time you retire? Uh, so what do you want me to give you, like, one or two, three? Like, as many as you want. I don't uh, know how big your goals list is. <laughs> <laughs> um, me winning the Champions League, winning the World Cup, and, um, yeah, being in, like, uh, a team of the year like mm. being like best, best world 11 so being a team that people would want to be in your team when they're coming up and having an interview yeah. Like this. yeah exactly exactly I want to be an inspiration and role model to other people to like to know they can be wherever they want to be okay music you're not just a footballer jack of all trades so you said you got <laughs> music um through church singing in church and your name's chosen so. mm -hmm. I feel like I can put two and two together, but what is the meaning behind your name? The meaning behind <laughs> everyone asked me this. So <laughs> how my name came about was like, um, yeah, my grandma used to call me chosen like a lot. And then obviously when I when I grew up and started like, making music and it was like, What are you gonna call yourself? I'm just like, I don't even know. Mm. And then I really thought about it and I was like, hmm. And then it came to a situation where I was like, I can play football, I can make music, like I can dance as well, because I used to like make dance videos when I was younger as well. Like, I can do loads of stuff. And I was like, like I'm I'm chosen to do this. Like God's really chosen me to like do all of these like crazy things. So I just call myself like, I was like yeah, chosen. I'm gonna call myself chosen. Um and then yeah, I was young, then I started like, like, like yeah. And then I just kept it, stuck with it. And then yeah, that's 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 really the meaning behind my name. But at least it came to you, like I feel like choosing names and stuff like I feel like I can be quite creative but when it comes to choosing names for things I'm like oh, I don't know where to go <laughs> exactly you stress too much because you like you want the perfect name because that's man, what you're just... known as so yeah exactly yeah it's true okay Tough. music obviously there's a lot of collabs a lot of features yeah. who would be your dream feature or collab maybe club album if I had a dream collab album um um Probably with future. Mm -hmm. I can hear that. <laughs> yeah, if I had it, if I make, if I had an album with future, oh my days, that's my life complete. Or Drake. Mm -hmm. yeah. I feel like you got um, quite American sound as well. So I yeah, think yeah, yeah. Nash well. Yeah, so I think yeah, that that would probably be my, my dream collabs. Like, yeah, that's so hard. I have a suggestion. Go on. I think you should do a collab with um died. <laughs> 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 we need to find we need to find out who he is first yeah, so but who, do you, who do you think it is listen it could be anybody 
I think you might know something in the football scene. Uh, I don't know what you're trying to put me on the spot. I'm not involved. Well, you people think it's Reese Nelson. Huh? Eden Reece Nelson. Nelson. Okay. Or, I've seen Bakayo Saka, even though I don't think it's him. <laughs> but people have noticed the um, tattoo on, I think his name's Shay Ojo. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Maybe we'll see a club between you two once. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Maybe, maybe. So, end of last year, you dropped your EP, page one. Yeah. So, what was, like, the inspiration behind that? Like, how you chose the songs and stuff? Um, Do you know what it is? Like, I had... Because I have... I built... I have so many songs. Like, I have... Almost, like, almost 400 songs now. So, it was, like... I was stacking up so many songs... And I was like, towards the end of the year, I was like, I need to drop, like, I want to drop just just a, a bunch a bunch of songs, like, as a little start, like, this is page one. Mm. Um, I was like, oh, what am I going to call this? I was like, yeah, this is going to be page one to something. Like, you know what I'm saying, like, loads of chapters into, like, my music journey as well as my football journey. So I wanted to just open this chapter of my book, of my, my story. So just, um yeah, just a little EP before, like, yeah, this year. You see, like, the real songs for mm. me, yeah. What's your uh, favorite song on the EP? My favorite song on the EP, mm-hmm. uh, probably "Waiting for Your Call." Mm-hmm. It's probably like a like a low key one, but um, if you like listen to it a couple times, take it in, like it just hits hard. Like mm-hmm. I think I think so. That's me and my boys anyway. So. Putting hearts in for gravity. I'm a rapper and a baller. Can you see the side of me? Feeling like it's my time. Nah nah. Oh, should I like, see you my vibe? My name, I get the attention. Get the attention. You in my shadow, be my vengeance. Probably that, and then obviously Reese James. Yeah, that one's it. Right, that's, so that's a lot of favorites. All right, why him? Why Reese James? Um, I don't know. I was in the studio one time, and we were just we, were just, we was on we were just messing each other, and then um, I was just yeah. When I'm in the studio, I'm just being creative in it. So I was just like. Mm-hmm. Just rhyming, freestyling, and then obviously the bar just came in, and then yeah, I sent him a snap. I sent him a snap of it, and he was just like, "Yeah, this is crazy. Like, this is so hard." And I was like, "You know, what? I'm just gonna call it Reese James." Pass the bar, Reese James. I'ma cross it. Finding who I'm meant to be, I ain't gonna stop it. Yeah, double up, lot of stars, foreign car, umbrella for you, oh, for you, and I want you to know that I'ma take care of you. Really? Any more footballers gonna get a, a track named after them? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe if they're lucky. If they're lucky, for real. Okay. So obviously, football, music. How are you currently balancing the two? Because they're very big careers to have. Yeah, it's basically like the two biggest industries. Like, um, I'm just, I'm not like stressing myself. Like I do my, I do my, I make music. Like music is like my my relief from from like the crazy world of football. I don't mm-hmm. really like the music as a job. Like um, like do you know what I mean like obviously football. That's like what I do day to day. And obviously when I'm at home and I get spare time, like everyone likes to do things. People like to play golf. People like to play games. People like to go out. I just like to be creative, and um. Fortunately enough, I can actually like I can make music, so that's just how I balance it. I don't like, yeah, I don't kill myself if it's like, oh my god, I have to do this, I have to do this. If I feel like I want to make music, I'll make music. What advice would you give footballers coming up your age, and what would you give upcoming musicians, artists, rappers? Um, with footballers, what I would say is, um, yeah, just be yourself, like, and never be afraid to take a risk because um yeah you might feel pressured from parents or like uncles aunties friends um but just do do what feels right if you want to take that shot if you want to make that crazy pass if you want to i don't know like just do something that's other people might think like like it'd be weird to do just do it like just be you take the opportunity take the risk um i mean music music is um You've got to like, you just got to keep making songs because um, you might make a song that you might think is sick. Someone might 
think it's not that good. You have to just keep making songs because eventually, like, something will click. And then, yeah, man. And live and live life or live life so, so you can talk about stuff in your songs as well. Don't just be, like, like, the same to everyone else and just talk about the same thing that everyone speaks about. Like, go live a little. Like, go, I don't know, do you know what I mean? So those are, those are, the, two, those are the two things I would say. Live life and take risks. Love it. Live life. Yes, yeah, for real. Well, thank you for coming on. And everyone, no, you, that's all right. Like, comment, subscribe, you know, share with your friends and family and stuff. <laughs> and I'll be continuing to upload my old radio shows. So, and I've uploaded loads already. So make sure you go watch them. Like, comment, subscribe, share, you know, put the post notification bell on <laughs> and all of that. But thank you. No, thank you for having me, man. Maybe we'll come again for another interview in the future yeah, for sure for sure for sure 100 but that's it from us so bye